the other thing about your character, Adam, is he seems there's a tension around his relationship with his own fame. He's yeah. not comfortable with it. At one point in the film, Adam, towards the end, sees a singer performing and remarks that she's too good for fame. It's mm-hmm. interesting. Too good for fame. Yeah. You've had some exposure to fame yourself in, in recent years. Do you think fame has a way of corrupting artistic expression? That is a huge question. Um, I think I, I think one has to be careful with it because it can it can it can probably pollute um, the well in some ways. Um, is if you listen to uh, if you listen to the good stuff too much, well, it, it, can, it, it you lose your sense of um, it stops you searching. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I, I really like my. I, I can't be objective about my levels of fame, but um, I think on one level it can give you confidence to keep going um, because people. It's nice to know that people appreciate what you're giving out there. I've certainly had that when I when I first started making films. The fact that people enjoyed them and responded to them was was a huge uh, boost. Boost, yeah. You think, okay, I'm doing the right. I'm in sort of going in the right direction. But um, I certainly, I caution against um, against it coloring my per- my perception of myself and what I have to give, what I have left to give. Have you ever felt it doing so? Uh, have I ever? No. I mean, I think there's a huge difference between there's two types of fame in my mind. There is there is the very honest and ancient engagement of an artist and an audience. And I couldn't call myself an actor if if there was no audience to come and watch me. And I admire and respect that the very sacred relationship between any mm. artist and the people. You know, if you've, if you've painted a painting or you've written a piece of music or a book or you've come up with a performance and you say, here, I have something to show you and I would love for you to come and see it mm. because it's about us, it's about humanity, it's about life. And then there's another type of thing which is sort of um, which is empty and 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 uh, dangerous, which is sort of um, which is just fame. You know, it's it's uh, it doesn't it does not it's not grounded in anything. Um, that's what I think about it. Um, I always there's a wonderful poem about fame by an English poet called Charlotte Mew in the twenties, and she says, "What if I went back and it was not there? Um, back to the old known things that are the new." The folded glory of the gorse, the sweet briar air, to the larks that cannot praise us, knowing nothing of what we do, and the divine, wise trees that do not care. And I, that, I find that very uh, comforting. Do you have a, besides that poem, you're yeah. gonna, this year is going to be another year of growth for you, I would imagine, mm. in terms of your rising star with this film, with the, the, another Thor film where you're back as Loki. Do you have a way of... Uh, uh, making sure that Tom Hiddleston keeps it real? <laughs> um, my family are very good at that. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like an, I, I feel lucky that I know, I sort of know myself, you know. Um, and you know, I've, I'm so grateful for, for people's appreciation and um and enthusiasm, but I know I know who I am, and I know I know that I'm in my own mind. I, I feel like I'm just beginning, and um, I, I guess I still live in the I still live in London. I still live in the same area I've always lived. I still have the same friends, so that doesn't change. Yeah, I feel pretty good about it. I'll let you know. Well, you maybe you can let me know when it starts to get out of hand. <laughs> I most certainly will. Tom Hiddleston caught in strip club with <laughs> face in cocaine.